Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Willy here, and uh, it's been a while, I guess, since I did another Pokemon video. Like I said, I'm sorry, I just I don't have the, the, the amount of time, I guess, I would to dedicate to making videos. But anyways, this is a battle I had with uh, Sean, aka Fala Fala La 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 Flame, and uh, this was actually a really intense battle. Uh, I haven't done any Pokemon battles in a while. But uh, he predicted uh, Willowisp right here because I am a Rotom uh, Wash and that's pretty common with them. And uh, he goes into his, I think it's Hades, I think it's, no, it's called Wrath, which is uh, Houndoom, which is his favorite Mega. Now he's going to go for a Mega right here and I'm predicting him to go for uh, a Mega Evolution and a Protect. And uh, he does do that in fact, and he does go for Protect as you can see here. I was going to go for, I think I do go actually, I go for the Hydro Pump, but that's just in case he decided to go for a Nasty Pot or something. I was playing it safe because I know I can probably live anything, and uh, you know, I get the leftovers for uh, the Sandstorm, which is it's not too bad, I can probably stall him out, but he doesn't want to stay into a Hydro Pump, so he's going to switch into his Adept, which I think, yes, this is Espeon. And I'm just, I'm trying to stall him out because uh, the Sandstorm isn't doing much to me. Pretty much whatever I lose from the Sandstorm, I'm recovering it with, a, um, with my leftovers. And so I, I debated here if I should go for the will o -Wisp or something. But I know this uh, Espeon probably has magic counts, so that probably would not have been the best idea. But I do go for a nice Hydro Pump right here, and I noticed that I missed. I was like, wow, I can't believe I missed. And I didn't know what this S count could do, so I was kinda, you know, I was kinda iffy. And I was expecting, uh, I think he set up a reflect first, or a light screen, I can't remember. But like I said, I'm still trying to stall out <laughs> with his own sandstorm, which might be dumb, but, um, I know, uh, I guess I was also, uh, just trying to figure out what, what his next move was. So I see that he goes for a side shot right here. And I know I can take it pretty well because I am uh, defensive in both sets, both uh, defense and special defense, with some HP, special tech, and a bit of speed so I can outspeed any modest uh, Rotom. So anyways, I switch into my Needle King here, and uh, it's nice and powerful blue. And I, I love the blue Needle King, it's one of my favorite. And um, he switches again to his Blastoise. And Sean, he, he just kept switching on me, and, and the bad thing is, it made me want to switch a lot. Because I see the uh, Needle King, I mean, Blast is out, and that's not really favorable for uh, my Needle King. So I switch into my Venusaur, just so you know, have the, uh, the, 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 the threat, you know, the threat is here. And he goes for an Ocarina, you know, so he's, like, he's making the plays, you know, I, like, the plays are here. And I notice he goes for, again, to his Hound Doom. And it's, it's just constant mega and switching stuff. This is how this is going. So obviously I am going to go for a sleep powder predicting it. And uh, cause I knew obviously a, a Blastoise is not going to stay to a freaking Venusaur. So I picked that amazingly well. And I'm, I'm probably thinking he probably, he's not going to wake up in the first turn. I know that much. So I can go for a sludge bomb right here and get some good damage. And uh, I'm gonna switch out just in case he wakes up and I don't know what he can do, like an overheat or something. But uh, I'm just gonna switch out and that probably was a good play, but uh, he did go for the protect, so... I don't know, you know. <laughs> Anyways, he's gonna switch out, I think he switches into, uh, what is it, once again, his Blastoise, that's what it is. I'm gonna go for an Earthquake right here, and the Earthquake is actually gonna do very, very little. Actually, eh, maybe a fourth of it or so. He does have the leftovers and uh, he does carry the aqua ring as he showed. So that's kind of a threat, you know. I mean, he can probably stall me out with Scald and uh, Protect, whatever, you know, whatever set he runs. So I did predict the Scald, as you can tell, and I do switch into my Rotom Wash, my Wash, my Wishy Washy. And uh, I do get the, he gets the Burn Hacks. I'm like, dang, I was so freaking lucky that I switched out of my Garchomp, because Garchomp is actually one of the key Pokemon in this battle just because of its amazing speed and his amazing uh, moves that I have on him. It's not really amazing, you know, it's just a, it's a cookie cutter um, Garchomp. Anyways, I do go for the Volt Switch right here and you know, that's gonna do some major damage. Uh, I think that's when he told me that he was actually a physical uh, Blastoise because I was like, what the heck can a Blastoise do? So it's actually like a defensive stall one, I guess. And he goes for the Aqua Run here, but once again, I, offered, I, I, I go for the Bolt Switch and switch into Venusaur. He's either going to have to sack this thing, or another Pokemon is going to take some damage, some pretty good damage, no matter what is coming. 
and he knows I carry the sleep powder, so he's probably gonna, yeah, he's gonna be the safest thing, in my opinion, would have been to stay. And uh, that's what happens. He stays in, his blast is finally taken out, but, uh, you know, he's, he now has advantage. He, he sends out his SPM right here, and of course, I do not want to be here. This is the last place I want to be. So I'm gonna switch right back into my Rotom. Rotom is burnt, and, uh, you know, he's, he's kind of useless right now, and he can't do much to me. Especially because I'm gonna die this turn, so I sacked him. And I probably think that was probably one of the better plays. Because uh, even though now I have the advantage of a free switch in and revenge kill, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna switch into my Needle King, man. And I do carry the Sucker Punch on this one. I have like three Needle Kings, okay? So if I pick up wrong one, you know, you might know why, because they're pretty much the same set. Timmin. Uh, jolly and a uh, one jolly without sucker punch. So you know, it's just all the needle things I have. <laughs> but anyways, I do get the revenge kill and uh, now the scissor comes out. Scissor is kind of a pain. This is a choice band one and I absolutely hate choice band scissor because uh, I just do. Because I feel it's kind of cheap, but you know, people have their opinions on stuff. They say sleep powder is cheap. Some people say priority is cheap. It's just a game, you know. You can't really do anything about it. But uh, that choice band though, it does a freaking a lot of damage and so I basically want to get rid of this thing as fast as I could but sadly Nino King does not have enough strength because he is a jolly and not adamant so I switch into Talonflame here predicting uh, another bullet uh, punch and I was gonna mess with him because this is actually my VGC team uh, this Talonflame is all VGC I finally set it up he has quick guard overheat um, Tailwind and Will O' Wisp, 252 HP defense from Bold Nature. You know, this is strictly VGC. And I was like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna die here no matter what happens. So I'm just gonna get this uh, thing burned. So I got it burned. You know, I was like, oh, that's freaking amazing. Uh, he missed a Stone Edge. That was freaking hacks. I switched out. And, you know, like I'm gonna play it safe and I'm going to my uh, Guard Trap right here because I knew Guard Trap could take a. Uh, Stone Edge from a Bird Tyranitar, you know, that's pretty obvious. So now I'm, I'm here to put the threat, you know, he doesn't want to be here. So he switches to his Blossom, but I, I don't know what's going on in my mind. I, I guess I wanted to predict and see what would happen in case he had Ice Fang or Ice Punch or whatever. So I, I'm just protected right now. Now I'm playing the stall game. Now I have the advantage. I feel, I'm feeling comfortable, you know, I'm like, alright, I can do this. Blossom's out, which is not really Blossom, but um... I got him to take a few ticks from damage from that sensor, which is always amazing. I felt like this was probably one of the better ideas. And I know that thing has freaking Drain Punch, and I know it's going to be slower. So this is the reason I go for the Iron Head right here. I knew it was slower, and I wanted to get the Flinch Axe. And uh, sadly, that activates the Weakness Policy, and uh... <laughs> weakness Policy Tyranitar with uh, either Dragon Dance or uh... Uh, Rock Polish is a freaking threat, so I knew that I had to get rid of this thing right away. One freaking Earthquake stab, boosted with Life Orb and Choice Band and whatever, you know, I wish, but uh, that thing is pretty much dead. And now he switches into his Scizor, but he doesn't really switch in, you know, you know what I mean. That Bullet Punch does uh, about half, you know, <laughs> and uh, which sucks, because that's half of my damage or half of my health, you know. I'm, I'm weak, I'm feeling it. But I go for the Earthquake, nothing to hit, and all it's down to is Blossom and his uh, precious uh, uh, Wrath, which is Mega Houndu. So once again, the sun, the, the Sandstorm's out, so I'm going to stall it out as much as I can, because I'm pretty sure one Dragon Claw will not be enough to KO it. But I go once again for the Iron Head, because I'm persistent, and I do get the Flinch Axe on the first try, which is freaking amazing. I'm like, that's it Blossom, you can't do anything to me, except... He runs Technician Life Orb Mock Punch, which, oh my goodness, priority almost kills. Uh, but luckily enough, I do live barely, and um, this Dragon Claw will do more than enough to finish it off. And now it leaves him versus uh, my Garcha versus Houndoom. Uh, he is a modest Houndoom, which was told, he was told me, and it was revealed by this part right here. Because uh, a timid Houndoom has a, or Mega, I should say, has a base 115. So it would outspeed me no matter what. But uh, that was a fun game. I really enjoyed it and I really like battling. So like I said, I'm gonna try I'm gonna trying to get um, as much videos as I can up. I am planning on probably ordering a uh, 
2DS capture card uh, probably next week when I get paid. Uh, I, I do need money. I have like I have enough for it, but you know I just want to keep on downloading and have uh, extra money just in case for bills or whatever, whatever comes up. So hopefully in about like next month or so when Smash comes out, I will have uh, the capture card. But anyways, I'll see you guys later, and I hope you guys enjoy this video.